The first educational website that I have chosen to present is youthhood.org. Youthhood.org is a website which acts as a medium for high school students to understand how to transition between childhood and adulthood. One of the first elements promoted by youthhood.org is the importance of the high school. It draws attention to the importance of being involved in high school including group activities and organized sports, um, but it also draws attention to the importance of the considerations one should make for what they plan to do after high school is over. In addition, youthhood.org draws attention to the importance of the job market. It allows high school students to understand the importance of thinking beyond high school graduation to the point to where they consider which career they would like to take and they understand the importance of the career that they select. One of the most interesting aspects of youthhood.org is the section titled The Hangout. This section of the website is devoted to allowing high school students to develop a sense of belonging in their community. Um, it promotes reaching out to others who are interested in similar areas, as well as becoming diverse in the types of people that they associate themselves with. Last to discuss with regards to youthhood.org is the curriculum guide. The curriculum guide could be used by a teacher as a way to develop exercises for high school students to make the transition into adulthood easier. As mentioned previously, the Hangout has a content area in the curriculum guide. Um, it allows teachers to help students to understand how to get to know themselves and the importance of having friends and having fun, um, as well as the purpose for these actions. The next educational website to discuss is teachersnetwork.org. This website is a resource-based website which contains many different elements useful for teachers in the classroom. Some of these elements include lesson plans, curriculum units, and even popular teacher-designed activities which have proven successful in the past. To delve further into the lesson plans, this slide shows that they offer elementary, middle, and high school level lesson plans. As an example, since my major is English and I plan on teaching secondary education English, I checked out their resources for this level of English lesson plans. Um, and I was very surprised with the resources that I had available. For example, one of the first lesson plans that shows up is the novel 1984 by George Orwell. And through reading it, I was able to see many elements which I could incorporate into my classroom if I were to teach this novel. Another interesting portion of teachersnetwork.org were the more inspirational resources that are available to classroom teachers. For example, this is a preview of a, an article titled Completing the School Year End of Term Procedures Successfully. Um, especially for a first year teacher, an article like this could make the world of difference. And this website does have several different articles which are tailored to new teachers, which could be very useful. In this slide, we can see many of the other resources available to new teachers through this website. 
There are many free lesson plans. Um, there are even grants that this website can redirect teachers to. Um, in addition to these resources, there is also a new teacher's how-to section to help them get through their first year of teaching more effectively. The last educational website that I have chosen to highlight in this presentation is edhelper.com. edhelper.com offers a variety of resources for teachers of all ages. As you can see, um, just by the home page, there are teacher ideas monthly, which show up, you know, the, the monthly issues. Um, for elementary school teachers, there are weekly reading books and leveled reading books. There are puzzles, which can be created with vocabulary words. So this website is very useful for any teacher. Another interesting portion of edhelper.com deals with daily skills, which are worked on according to each grade level. I have chosen to highlight the high school daily skills. Some of the daily skills which are mentioned in this particular portion of the website include daily writing prompts. For example, these could be used as a morning bell ringer. Um, you could do the same with math, science, literature. Um, if you choose to do a spelling unit, um, they, they have several resources available to tailor to the classroom experience you would like your students to have. Some additional daily skills include vocabulary worksheets, there are U.S. history units, American government, reading comprehensions with an inclusion of poetry, high school reading comprehensions, and high interest. There is also an edhelper.com subscriber that you could become and receive emails with new information and new resources as they become available. edhelper.com additionally has some creative classroom resources for the teacher. For example, they have bulletin board templates available to teachers um, they're broken down by subject and by monthly themes, as well as vocabulary units. Um, there are also printable charts and banners used for bulletin boards. So this website is very versatile for all teachers. Here are more printable resources from edhelper.com, ranging from calendars to timelines and book reports. Um, if the teacher uses to use a seating chart, there are reading logs and rewards which can be used as well.